Well, guys, it looks like we finally made 10 subscribers. Hey. Huge. It's huge. <laughs> we expect uh, sponsorship coming soon. <laughs> Um, you know, probably uh, money's gonna be rolling. Red Bull. Uh, I'm expecting a call from Red Bull any minute, any minute, because we got 10 subscribers. We're big time. The channel's grown. We're oh, we're huge. Anyways, we're back on the truck. The motorcycle. We got kind of an update on the motorcycle, but it's gonna be a verbal update only. Yep. The uh, got a call yesterday. The crank is done. Finally. Two months. Two months for the crank. It's been waiting two months for that damn thing. So Tempe, Temp, there those guys there in Tempe, crank works. Crank works. They may take a little. They may take a little extra time. Well, I'm hoping this thing looks like a piece of jewelry when it gets here. Yeah. So. And I went today and looked at another project. It's going to be a channel project, um, and it's going to be a surprise. You guys are going to get a kick out of this. Oh, that's going to be a good. You know, th this stuff I'm doing with, with all the sheet metal fabrication. I would love to tell you that I figured all this out and you know, it's me, 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 but it's not. There's a dude on the interwebs on, on YouTube. Most of the stuff we do, we basically hijacked. Well, we didn't hijack. We got the, we gained the knowledge from other YouTube guys. So we're not really, I mean, there's nothing. Basically doing the same thing. You were doing, doing the same thing they're doing, but we're learning from them. Most of the stuff some of the stuff we know you know before but anyways, so this guy Fitzy's fabrication Fitzy's fabrication He's the main guy. I, I, I'm on this and there's a couple other guys. I follow um, Sylvester's customs some of the stuff I, I got from him You know, they pretty much do the same thing kind of not Sylvester's cuz Sylvester is more on the finish side Which I'm not there yet. And then there's another metal worker dude that's on there that um, I'll link them all down in the description. After making that last piece, I thought I had hero status, but I'm, I'm a dirt bag. I ended up having to, as you can see, make it out of two pieces. Didn't work out the other way, but this way here is a little bit longer, so. I'm hoping to, uh, Get this piece trimmed up. I need to trim the top and here, and then I can cut the body to fit this. And um, you know, I got some Clico holes where I can Clico this in, and um, so I'll Clico both of them in where they go, and then um, start making the piece in the center. Anyways, my buddy came by, Eric came by the other day and brought me a whole box of license plates. So um, I'm going to need to be putting those up here pretty soon. Um, you can see behind me there, I've got a few license plates on the wall. I'm going to fill that in and just start going this way. Okay, uh, here's a tour view. This is a fiberglass welding blanket from the Harbor Freight. The Freight of the Harbor. Um, these things actually work really good for protecting interior because I don't want to yank everything out just yet because this truck is still uh, drivable and movable so I can move it around and whatnot. It's huge. So it needs to be moved around. So I'll basically cover the whole interior with this. Okay. So I got the two pieces fitted up. This one still needs to have the landing trimmed, but I got the two pieces fitted up. And now, well, I've been digging these crappy tools. Um, I got some premium organizers by crappy. See if we can get them open here. So basically, uh, they come in several different colors. I got the red just because, you know, red, whatever. So this is uh, the crappies. And I like them. <clears throat> I've already got one set of them. Because these little plastic things here can come off. And you can either add or, you know, add more or take away and cut and re-drill. You can screw them down and they actually, they got pretty good retention. 
the plastic ones. I mean, some of the plastic ones don't have very good retention. These are uh, going to be for my metric stuff. It's not a bad deal. Can't remember how much I paid for them. They weren't too expensive. You know, they're not the twist offs. Twist offs are cool, but they're kind of a pain if you're not if you're a uh, you know, you're in your toolbox here. So anyways, there they are. Your tool review, boys. Okay, so here we got the piece that goes between them. It's a little bit wobbly, but just a lot of real estate. And there's not really much to copy, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this work. The seal is gonna come up to about here about a quarter inch off or as much actually a seal is going to come up as much as I want because I'm going to do a, a homemade seal which is going to be quite interesting you guys are going to uh, see some butchery at its finest okay we're kind of roughed in on the top here of course it's you know it's just roughed in Lots of trimming. Oh my God, trimming and grinding. Um, tons of grinding. Grinding, welding, grinding, welding, grinding, welding. You know, some of this stuff doesn't really fit perfect, but you know, I'll be able to bridge that gap. And I gotta get in there and get that. But overall, man, I'm pretty, uh, pretty satisfied. This is gonna have to be pushed in there to fit that butt weld. Okay, things have progressed. Got it Frankensteined in. Um, it looks good so far. Uh, I had to, this side here is gonna end up a little wonky. Uh, it's gonna be one of those beat to fit, paint to match things. You can see right in here, kinda had to manipulate it. Cause remember we're transitioning from on top to flush. So that transition got a little wonky there. And my seam right here was a little high, so I tapped it down. But man, she feels solid. Okay, so I got some stuff tacked in. The inspector's here to check the work. We're tacked in, it looks ugly as hell. It's like Franken windshield panel thing. I don't think, I think it would actually look It's really actually good. not too bad. No, I think it looks Okay. Look. Some more welding and some grinding. You see, I had to. This is actually, I mean, these pieces fit really, really nicely. Oh, they, uh, my, Mike, you weren't here when I was fitting them. The hammer got used. I cussed a lot. There was a lot going on. It wasn't an easy yeah. fit, and there's still a lot of welding left, as you can see. Yeah, but, um, man, I'm floored. A lot of trimming and welding. So that's going to be it for this episode of In the Shop. Did you, did you hear we have 12 subscribers? Right on. Who are these 12 people? I don't know. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's a, that's a wrap on this one. Um, hopefully our next one, we'll, we'll get some KTM 650 LC4 action. 620. 620. But, yeah. I did find some, uh, I watched a video yesterday. Uh-huh. Um, chronicling the, the life of the LC4. Oh. They actually still- The history. They actually still build the damn thing. Nice. It is. But they don't make an oil filter that's available. No, they took that, that thing out of it and they put the filter inside the motor. Bastards. But that, they're on the fifth generation right now. 